Welcome to MDesk, your all-in-one project management solution. In this video, we'll guide you through the basics to help you get started quickly and efficiently. As a first step, we will need to sign in to create a new account. For this, you will need to go to mdesk.com and click on the Get Started button at the top right-hand side of the page. Or you can also enter the link app.mdesk.com in the URL. Head over to the MDesk signup page, enter your email address and password, then retype the password. And lastly, you may be asked to enter a confirmation code at the bottom. If this is the case, then you'll need to enter the code in order to proceed and log in. For anybody who already has an account, you can click on the sign in here at the bottom. Once you're signed up, you will be asked to create your first workspace. This could be for a project workspace, your company's workspace to manage multiple projects, or any collaborative effort. Next, choose a template for your workspace. We have various options for your needs, but today I will choose a Horizon Europe project template. If you prefer, you can choose to use the demo data to explore, and then click Next. If you're unsure which template to select, don't worry, templates are fully adjustable to suit your project's needs. And lastly, you can already invite users into your new workspace, or you can invite users at a later time. I will show you how this is done once inside the workspace. Now we can begin adding users. Invite your team members to the workspace by navigating to the Users section and send out invitations by clicking the Invite New User button at the bottom. Users are the people who can work and manage tasks within MDesk. Once you've added in your users, then it's suggested to map out your participants. Participants can be organizations like yours and partners and people involved in your projects. Start by creating the first participant at the first level. This could be your organization. Then decide if you want to add another organization at the first level or a second employee under the first organization. You can essentially map out your organization's structure or the consortium structure in a flexible way as you so desire. Of course, not all companies manage projects in the same way. In the customization section, you can tailor the workspace to your needs, like activity types, status, task status, participant type, cost category, indirect cost rates, funding rules, and most importantly, the ID settings for your activities and participants. Adjusting participants' ID settings in MDesk customization section allows you to customize structure and identifiers for mapping out your participants. For example, if you would like to structure your participants to have company, then staff, then you would have to do so in this section by adjusting the details within the quotations. Now, going back into the participant section, we can continue to build the participant structure. As you can see, I'm now adding a sub-participant, which in this case is a staff member, directly under my first participant by using the options icon on the right side of the row. To move a participant to another position, open the participant in the sidebar and select a new position using the Move option at the top. To delete a participant, click the Delete option in the action menu of the participant. It's here in the participants section where you can also create a financial profile for each organization, team, or person. A financial profile defines the cost rates available for scheduling budget or recording hours worked. Just open the participant in the sidebar, select Financial Profile, and create a cost rate for the participant. You'll be able to create the cost rate for the participant by clicking the Add Personnel Cost Rate at the bottom right side of the sidebar. Select the preferred unit of person month, person day, or person hour for the cost rate. Select if you only want it to be used for scheduling the budget, or recording personal expenses only, or specify if the rate shall be valid for a specific period only. Then click Save, and from now on you can schedule the effort or record personal expenses for this participant using this cost rate. Now let's begin setting up your projects and work, including work packages, tasks, milestones, and deliverables. We can start by adding project A, B, and C quickly. Then add work packages to each project. You can quickly add a work package under the project by clicking the small arrow on the side of the row and clicking add sub activity. You can customize the labels of activities under customization if you prefer to have them named differently. Similarly to when we adjusted the ID settings for the participants, we can essentially do the same with the work plan structure. Here, you can easily rename and restructure the different levels to fit your own workflow. So now I'll go back to the work plan. Under the work package, you can assign the lead participant and team members responsible for each activity. Adjust the duration and timing, and then save. You can add a deliverable or milestone under the project by going back to the arrow and clicking Add Events. 
There you can select whether it's a deliverable or milestone and then click save. As you're entering this information, you can also see your projects with their work breakdown in the Gantt chart view, which visualizes your project timeline. To report your first status update for an activity, deliverable, or milestone, you can choose Report Update from the option menu at the item or in the Updates tab in the item sidebar. Then set the update status and other details and click Save in order to report a new status. Now let's schedule a budget and effort for your participant on specific projects or activities. I can do this directly from the Work Plan or Participants section. Choose Add Budget from the context menu available directly at the activity or participant. Now I choose the right cost category and I enter the budget amount. If you have selected a personnel cost category, you are also able to set the cost rate and enter the budget as an effort. Then set the right project or activity and then the participant. Once I've created the budget, you can see that it's already being added to the activity that I created it under. As everything in MDesk is connected and instantly updates, you can also see the budget that I've created under the participant I related it to, and of course, in the budget area here. All created budgets will appear as a list in the budget section, and you can browse, filter, and update them whenever needed. Recording expenses and personal effort is similarly easy. You and your team can report expenses directly from the project or activity in the work plan section, from the participant section, or the expenses section itself. I will create an expense incurred for a specific work package. Here we report the date. Alternatively, you can also choose a time period or a reporting period. I choose the right cost category, select the work package, and the participant for which the expense has incurred. Now I've selected personnel cost category, so I'm able to select the cost rate and the time worked. As I'm reporting hours worked based on the rate of my participant, you'll see that the cost automatically is calculated as soon as I enter the effort. But it can also be entered vice versa. If I change the cost, the effort will then adjust automatically. Then I can save, and it will automatically be displayed in the expenses section. If you would like to allow your team to track exact hours worked on work packages or tasks in projects, you can enable them to record their times using the timesheet option. Users can enter their work hours simply by choosing the day and activity, then enter the hours and click Track Time. They can go back and forth in time in case they need to report time in the past or future. You can also switch the time range view from weekly, monthly, or annual. You can also switch from a timesheet view to a time list view. Once a weekly or monthly timesheet is ready for approval, the team manager can convert the hours into expensed effort by clicking the Book as Expense button and selecting the right cost rate. You can then find the effort converted here in the Expenses section. Lastly, to control specific users' access in MDesk, you can go to the Users section. Here, you can assign roles such as Admin or Manager, granting full access into the workspace, or break down access by sections for more detailed control and even into individual items. This way, users will only see the information you allow them to see, ensuring privacy and security. And that's it. You've now learned the basics of getting started with MDesk. For more detailed guides and support, visit our Help Center or contact support at mdesk.com.